Hi everyone, today we're going to do things a little bit differently. This is kind of like a reading, but it's just very, very chill. I'm going to pull a bunch of affirmations, positive affirmations and things that you need to really know right now. And I will go through everything. I'll do it like a reading where I really just talk about everything and we just sort of enjoy the positive vibe the sun is also shining which is really beautiful and yeah so i just wanted to say as well that this is for all star signs if you're here i feel like it is a sign in itself that there are messages for you and also if you wanted to you know win a free reading with me check out the description box below since i do giveaways every single month personal services with me are always on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com there's also personal services on um my tarot reading so if you wanted to purchase a reading with me or you wanted to purchase a ritual with me for you know love money success marriage career healing you know prayers anything like that it's also on my website um shopmoonlightguidance.com thousands of five star reviews at the bottom of my website for intention items as well if you wanted to check those out like candles bracelets you know necklaces things like that it's always there okay so let's begin i've got here the positivity flip chart um so we'll have a look into that. You can't even see it, but <laughs> there we go. And um, this actually has resonated with so many of you in past readings where I would say something and then I would get the message and it would literally affirm what I've said before. So this, I think, is truly, truly magical. I think it's really, really lovely. So we will use that as well as another deck here as well in regards to, you know, some more like loving messages as well. All right. So let's have a look and see what is coming through. Feel free to, you know, grab a drink, grab a snack, uh, we chill together. Okay, so the first one here is better an oops than a what if. And that is so, so incredibly true. Um, the most incredible thing here is that it reminds me of what I mentioned in a very recent reading that I posted, which is to do with the bird and the branch analogy. So if you haven't seen that, it's, the reading is called 1111, you will receive a sign in one hour. But in that, I really spoke about the bird and the branch where a bird is never scared of landing on a branch. And it's never scared of the branch breaking because it trusts its own ability to fly and so when we have this message which is better an oops than a what if it's really this sense of being able to trust yourself and really knowing that even if something didn't work out you still tried rather than thinking to yourself I wonder what would have happened if I tried so that's really what we have here it's better to take the opportunity than to wonder what if I didn't so this is a really beautiful positive affirmation especially if you're thinking to yourself like should I try that but what if it goes wrong should I try that should I do it it's better to take that leap of faith with of course your intuition and your gut in mind and to take that chance really so that's what we have here okay We've got here, don't compare yourself to others. There's no comparison between the sun and the moon. They both shine when it's their time. That is so beautiful and it is so, so incredibly true, especially if you compare yourself to another person, you compare yourself to somebody else's looks, you compare yourself to somebody else's career. You have to understand that you are very different, okay? Even just how you were raised could be very different. How you were taught certain things can be very, very different. How you were conditioned as a child can be very, very different. Um, you know, they might get an opportunity in one way and you get an opportunity in another way. The other thing as well that I really want to mention as well is that, for example, you know, some people that get married later on in life, they might think that they are a failure, for example, but they're not. I've seen in many situations where, you know, people will really compare certain areas of their life to another person but perhaps you know their job is is greater than what the other person is is doing right now but they might not have a job you know what I mean so it's kind of like this sense of um not comparing yourself because you truly don't know where somebody else could end up in that situation you know for example if you don't have a relationship and somebody does well maybe you don't understand that maybe they're in a toxic relationship right and maybe you're better off alone and actually you're the one that's doing well but your perspective is different because you think that they're doing well based on society's standards so the main thing here is please don't compare yourself because number one you don't know what someone else is going through number two it may not all be a fantasy as you expect it in your mind in the sense of what they're going through versus the fact that maybe you're not doing so well maybe you are doing well maybe you are exactly where you're supposed to be and that is really really important to keep in mind as well there was um an interview that I'd seen a while ago actually of an actress and um, she said something along the lines of, I think she was in her thirties, you know, somewhere there is a mother of two who is probably, 
you know, wishing that she had stayed single and that, you know, she doesn't have those children. Maybe there is. And then here she is, this actress, very successful actress, thinking that by this age, she would have the children, she would have a husband, she would have family. And so it's really interesting, isn't it, how those two can be completely reversed, whereas perhaps that mother was hoping that, you know, she had stayed single and that she was not, you know, having to do all of that, whereas this other actress is someone who thought that she would be having that kind of life. And and it's really interesting because a lot of the times we want things that we don't have because we don't have them. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. So don't compare yourself to others because there is no comparison. Somewhere out there, someone, somewhere out there, wait, does that even make sense? Someone, somewhere out there wants the life that you are living. And you maybe want somebody else's life that they are living. But truly there is no comparison because this is the life that you have been given. And so that's really important and you will shine in your own time, okay? You will shine in your own time. All right. I feel like that was a bigger explanation than it needed to be, but I feel like it was just so important for me to mention that. Okay, so let's go here. The only people worth impressing are your eight-year-old self and your 80-year-old self, and that goes hand in hand with what I literally just mentioned. Okay, this is very, very true. Also, you should only ever look back in order to see how far you've come healing your inner child and looking after your inner child and nurturing your inner child is very very important and also when you are older you don't want those what ifs like we spoke about right so impressing yourself and working towards yourself and healing yourself even from the past helps your past self but also helps your present self and your inner child self and so that is the only person that you should try and impress is yourself okay because you have goals you have ambitions and you know what it's like to live you okay that's very very important dream big work hard make it happen work towards your goals work towards your dreams Honestly, um, I think Lady Gaga said this, um, it can take, gosh, what did she say? It can take, you know, nine people rejecting you. Don't quote me on this. I'm probably going to say it wrong, but nine people rejecting you, but it takes one person to believe in you who could literally change everything. How about being that person, right? You can be that person to change something inside of you, but also don't give up. If people keep saying no and no and no, so long as you're not harming and hurting other people, you've got an idea, you can make it happen. And using the law of attraction, I think, is really, really powerful. Remember, the law of attraction means knowing what you want, but being okay without it, which means dreaming big, but also accepting where you are right now and living and loving your life right now. And things will only further to, you know, grow and get better for you. So dream big, work hard, make it happen, okay? Try and do what you can for your dream, okay? Try and go the distance for your dream, okay? So now I'm going to go into some love messages. By the way, if you like this, then let me know. (laughs) Um, We can do more of these. You know, I was really hoping that this would like calm the mind. I'm not sure how much it's calmed the mind because I feel like it gives you so much to think about. So does it make you overthink or does it calm your mind? I'm not really sure. You can be the judge of that one. You can be, okay? So we've got here, you are my true love. The person for your highest good, I feel, is is really saying this to you, that, you know, you are their true love. It says here, I would wait for you forever. Okay, so these are some love messages that you are supposed to hear right now. Um, if you have a specific person in your mind, it can be for that person. If you haven't got a specific person in your mind, this is the person that is for your highest good that is still yet to come into your life, okay? I dream of you every night. You have a really beautiful magnetic quality about you, which I think is so lovely. I love being around you. There's a sense here of like even just a soul connection, even if you've never met this person, where they they like your soul, they like your energy, they like that a lot. And then we've got here, I'm scared to reach out. Okay, so a little bit scared to reach out, but I do feel like that will eventually happen because I see this cycle breaking here. Um, But yeah, these are some of the messages that we've got here. Now, obviously, if this 
resonates with you, if these messages make sense, um, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course intention items which are on my website. And yeah, your affirmation for this reading is I affirm this, okay? Because there are some really beautiful affirmations in this for sure, but yeah, let me know, okay? So everything's always listed down below for your convenience and I will see you all very soon.